In print, one of the most popular Bible study aids is a concordance. It's usually a very big book listing every time words appear in the Bible. Well, in Logos, concordances really aren't necessary because we have a very powerful search engine that will list for us every time words, multiple words, phrases, and a whole lot more not only appear in our Bibles, but our books as well. And so in this tutorial, I want to get you going in an introduction to Bible searching. Okay, take a look at my screen. I have my home page open. Let's go ahead and close the home page by clicking the home icon. And we want to open our preferred Bible. You know there's an icon on the toolbar and we've been clicking it. But this time I want you to click and hold on the Bible icon and just drag it to the left side of the screen. What I'm pointing out to you is you don't always have to click the icons. You can drag them to wherever you want them on the screen. And to make this very practical, let's take our Bible to Philippians 1.1. Philippians 1.1. Remember to abbreviate, type your reference in the box, then press the enter key. And notice Paul and Timothy, slaves of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi. So we're studying this passage here, and we want to locate other places in the Bible where particular words and phrases appear. So we want our search panel open. So on your main toolbar, click the search icon, the magnifying glass, and that will open the search panel. Now, this is not detailed instruction about searching, but enough to get you going. Notice on the search panel, we have different headings, all Bible books and so on. This is asking us, what type of search do we want to execute? And we want a Bible search. So go ahead and click Bible. And then notice we have some drop-down list here. Mine says Top Bible, L-E-B. You could click that and change the Bible or Bibles that you're searching. So leave it to your preferred Bible. All Bible text, we want that. And then it says verse. Click on that. And you can designate, do you want to search within the verse in the Bible or within the chapter? In other words, give me all the verses containing the word Paul or all the chapters containing the word Paul. Normally, you want verse. So leave it set to verse. And then there's a drop-down list, all passages. Which parts of the Bible do you want to search? Old Testament, New Testament, just the book of Ephesians, and the like. Go ahead and click on that, and let's change it to New Testament. New Testament. So I want you to familiarize yourself with these various drop-downs because you can customize your search ranges here. But now we're ready to actually do some searching. So come over here to your Bible again and notice that Paul identifies himself as slaves of Christ Jesus, he and Timothy. So let's say that we want to find the word slaves in the Bible. So I want you to click in the box in your search panel and type the word slaves and then just press the enter key. And so we are searching the New Testament of our preferred Bible and here are all the places that particular word appears. When the results come back, you'll see that we can arrange them in a variety of ways. I like a line because it gives the center column. Now notice we're getting the singular and plural forms of this particular word. You'll see slave, you'll see slaves plural. So let's say that we just want the plural form as we've typed it. Notice in the upper right there is an icon and it has a little extension on it and currently mine is selected. This is called match all word forms. I'm going to deselect it and now we're just getting the specific form that we typed in the box. Okay, so let that sink in. Match all word forms. If we type in a singular, we're also going to get the plural and vice versa. If we don't want that, then we want to deselect it and we are just getting the specific form. So I'm going to click on it again so that we get all forms. So this is a very straightforward word search. Okay, now let's return to the passage here and notice he says in verse 2, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We want to locate the word Father. So click in the box and type the word Father, and I want you to type it with a capital F, okay? Then press the enter key, 
And notice we are getting lowercase as well as uppercase father. And so it's not case sensitive unless we tell it to be case sensitive. So go back to the upper right of the search panel and you'll see a little icon with a big A and a little A and it says match case. I want you to click that. Now we are just getting father when it's capitalized. Okay, so you have those two icons up there. You can match the case so you can get upper or lower and you can match all word forms. So you understand those two icons right now. Let's deselect case sensitivity because we don't care whether it's upper or lower, but now you know how to do it. Okay, now we want to search for a phrase. So I want you to notice he says to you in verse two, grace to you. All right, so if you're looking for a phrase, all you do is place it in double quotes. So let's start the double quotes, type our phrase, grace to you, close the double quotes. I tell people when you're searching for a phrase, just put your phrase in the double quotes and pretend that it's a word. All right, so we type grace to you, double quotes, press the enter key. Now we have every occurrence of that particular phrase in the New Testament of our preferred Bible. Do you see what we have here? We have an exhaustive word concordance as well as an exhaustive phrase concordance for every Bible in our library. This is very, very cool. Now, let's say that we are not looking for a specific phrase. We just want multiple words in the same verse because notice in verse 2, he says, grace to you and peace from God our Father. So we want the words grace and peace in the same verse. All right, so in the find box, remove what's there and then type grace and then put a space and then type the word peace. The space means and. We could have typed an all caps and and it would have been the same thing, but we could type grace, space, peace. Press the enter key. Now we are looking for all the verses in the Bible containing both words. Pretty cool, eh? So you can search for words, you can search for phrases, you can search for multiple words. Now in this tutorial, let me show you one more thing. I want you to click in the search box again, and I want you to type Timothy. Don't click anything, just type Timothy and look at the drop down. Do you see the person Timothy is in the list? I want you to click on that because we're not looking for the word Timothy, we're looking for the person Timothy. Press the enter key. Now we are locating every mention of the person Timothy regardless of the words used to reference him. We saw this in a previous tutorial with the fact book. So if Timothy is referred to as a brother, a disciple, a son, if he's included in a we, all of those hits will be here. So all you have to do is type your person, place, or thing in the box and then select it from the drop down list. Don't just type Timothy and press the enter key. Type Timothy and then select person in the drop down list. If you type Philippi, you want to select place Philippi in the drop down list. It's pretty cool. So this will get you going in your Bible searching for words, phrases, and a whole lot more.